G'day, this is Scotty Tucker. If you've got a biological filter, which you should have, what you need to do is be, just be careful how you clean that because how a biological filter works is it works by bacteria, good beneficial bacteria that break down the nutrient that's in the water that you can't see that the algae feeds off. So you wanna make sure that these little bugs or the bacteria inside are happy. Bugs don't like chlorine, makes them really unhappy, kills a lot of them. So don't take your pond filter and get a hose straight from the main uh, tap and hose it off because you're gonna lose a lot of your bacteria. If you do do that, or if you have done that, you need to spike it again very quickly with a bacterial product to get the numbers back up quickly. But the best thing to do when cleaning your filter is if you're on tank water, then you can use that, absolutely. You can hose it and go for it. But the other thing that you can do is just simply take a bucket of pond water out of your pond and then whatever media is inside your filter, it might be foam, it might be metala media, it might be fireballs, it might be uh, K1 media. There's all sorts of different weird and wonderful media that will go inside these things, but they're ultimately just houses for bacteria to live on. So to clean their house, what you need to do without chlorinating is just take some of that media out, give it a rinse in your bucket of pond water, put it back into your filter and off you go. Still always a good idea after you've done that is to spike it with a little bit of bacteria to make sure that the bacteria numbers increase and come straight back up again. If you want to check out more information, have a look at the description below. Subscribe to us, we'll go hit the alert button, we'll send you out notifications and we'll keep Keep educating you so you can make your life easier and get a really nice pond or dam that you love. Thank you.